Okay, I figured it out. This is how I plan to celebrate Scream 5. You ain't celebrating that way. You ain't a real Scream fan. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris. It has been too long since I dedicated an entire 3C video to Scream 5. Good old 5 to cream. And man, do we have a lot of juicy stuff concerning Scream 5, or as they've just decided to call it, Scream, parentheses 2022. That's gonna be the full title. Oh, there's only one Scream. This one now is Scream, parentheses, 2022. Some of the stuff that we're going to be discussing here today is we have the directors involved with Scream showing us the startup logo. Not only that, but some details involved with the opening scene, how long we can expect it to be. We also have some information about there being a Halloween, aka Michael Myers connection in this movie. Cast members talking about the film and what we can expect. That along with so much more. So many of you horror fans, leave me your opinions down below. Are you still unbelievably hyped to see Ghostface? come out once again in like less than six months so that means in about like three or two months we's gonna get some posters we's gonna get some trailers things are starting to get real bumping for Ghostface and scream five to five cream or scream parentheses 2022 so many damn titles so, so i can't keep up with them all and since it has been a while since i talked about scream on the channel let's just do a quick little recap for what we can expect so this is technically scream 5 because they are bringing in legacy characters from the past scream movies like sydney prescott gail weathers sheriff dewey we even have characters that were first introduced in scream 4 like deputy judy hicks showing up but because this is a brand new company that bought the scream property away from the weinstein company and obviously want to try and pump out more sequels from this they decided to just call it scream print this is 2022 to hopefully gain a new audience and make many more sequels of Ghostface. The main plot that we have right now is still a new installment of the Scream horror franchise will follow a woman returning to her hometown to try and find out who has been committing a series of vicious crimes. The woman in question is going to be actress Melissa Barrera, who's going to return to her hometown when her younger sister, played by Jenna Ortega, is being stalked by Ghostface. And I have to say, when I first started doing my Scream 5 updates, it was kind of a shock to me that we would have a brand new character that would be sharing the spotlight with Nev Cam. Sydney Prescott and plus I didn't have any knowledge of Melissa Barrera's work but that has changed because over the past month I saw the movie In the Heights that stars Melissa Barrera and oh my god all my worries about her possibly being the new lead star for the Scream franchise and for her to carry on this legacy Oh, I cannot wait. She is not only fire. She's very talented can sing can dance so Ghostface I hope you get ready to be defeated with the dance off. So now having seen her work, it gives me a lot more faith in this new cast that they have. Plus you pair that up with Melissa Barrera having to comment this about the movie and what we can expect. She recently went ahead and gave an interview when promoting In the Heights and said, Matt and Tyler bring their freshness to it, but we're honoring Wes. I think it'll make the fans happy, but also bring in a new audience to the movies, which I'm excited about. I couldn't believe it. I was being a fan the entire time. Every time they yelled cut, I would say to the directors, take a picture of us. Now Courtney is a real close friend of mine they're also incredible and i loved it i'm so excited for january i think it's always really hard to find that balance of pleasing old fans while bringing in new ones but hopefully they have nailed it because the movie is now a hundred percent complete it's done and we know this because the directors went ahead online and showed us what the title sequence is gonna look like for when scream gets slashed online and man it's missing the parentheses 2022 but i'll let that slide this is what all of us scream fans are gonna be seeing in the theater coming about six to seven months in January. The other thing people have noticed is up here in the corner, it says real one, 11 minutes and 20 seconds. So that means that they show the title scream 11 minutes and 20 seconds into the movie confirming we is getting an opening kill, okay? I, I know that shouldn't really surprise a lot of us Scream fans. It's not a Scream movie unless you have yourself an opening kill. But with this being a relaunch, it not being directed by Wes Craven, new people involved, a whole new company, we were afraid how different this would feel. And it looks like they're following the tradition started up by Wes Craven of an opening kill. And oh, I'm just so curious to what happens those 11 minutes and 20 seconds before this title sequence comes on screen. And I don't want to put any pressure on the people involved with the movie, but I have 
have my expectations pretty high for this opening kill, okay? You need to show us that you took this property and you're gonna deliver like Wes Craven did. I, at this point, I don't know what you could do with an opening kill. I feel like Wes Craven did everything he could up to the fourth movie where he had a movie within a movie within a movie. Nothing will ever touch how iconic the Drew Barrymore opening kill was. And even though some people still bag on the opening kill for Scream 3, I thought that was done pretty well. So it's gonna be interesting to see what kind of unique turns this opening kill has because usually everybody in the opening scene ends up dead. It would be kind of interesting if this time around people in the opening scene made it out or heck they revealed one of the ghost face and then we have to find out the other one or the other two the rest of the movie. I don't know, something different. But the other thing I wanted to bring up with Scream 5 that I think is kind of unexpected but awesome is that I've heard this and some people have heard this online too apparently there is going to be a Halloween aka Michael Myers connection in Scream 5. Now, let me go ahead and clarify what I mean when I say that. That does not mean Ghostface and Michael Myers exist in the same universe. We already know since these movies are connected to the previous Scream films, and those are canon, we had Jamie Kennedy's character, Randy, at the party at the end of Scream, talking about the rules for a horror movie, and in the background, they're watching the original Halloween with Michael Myers. So that film exist as a movie in the Scream universe. So as I continue off with this, don't get your hopes up that Michael Myers is gonna show up in a white mask alongside Ghostface, or they're gonna face off of each other, no. Instead, what I'm hearing is that the opening scene will actually somehow pay an homage to the Halloween franchise. Now again, take that with a grain of salt. We've heard online already that the directors and the people involved all gave the cast members different scripts, different details. There's multiple endings to this movie and only certain people know how the movie actually ends. But we even have someone involved in the movie go ahead and mention this exact same detail where this person who worked on the movie says, Fun fact, Scream 5 and Halloween Kills were both filmed in the same small North Carolina town. And man, just seeing someone who worked on the movie go ahead and spill some details on it really takes me back to these Scream 5 updates we used to do because the cast and crew was notorious for accidentally spoiling their own movie. If you guys didn't know, some of the new characters would regularly go to the beach after filming and they even accidentally revealed that Randy's sister, played by Heather Monterezzo, is going to be part of the movie. And well, here he goes confirming further what I've been hearing that there is somehow a connection between Scream 5 and the Halloween franchise. So pairing that up with the information that I was told that the opening scene will pay homage to Michael Myers, I don't think it's a coincidence that both Scream 5 and the Halloween franchise filmed in North Carolina. So now what could that possibly mean for the opening scene or what that has to do with Halloween? No idea. Could it be that this new killer is going back to one of those motives of being inspired by horror movies? And maybe Halloween is one of the movies that inspired him. Kind of like a reverse Randy who fell in love with those movies and then wanted to go back into doing them. But if that were the case, why wouldn't he be inspired by the Stab franchise that does exist in the Scream universe? But still, if it's just homage or a little Easter egg and hint to the Halloween movies I like it because Wes Craven did the exact same thing in his original Scream movie so it's kind of nice that they're putting in that throwback again because if you really think about it the way Halloween rebooted is kind of similar to the way Scream is getting rebooted where they both got updated movies with the exact same name Halloween 2018 Scream 2022 introducing brand new characters but bringing in legacy characters for a new audience the Scream movies are always meta and plain in fact to that so now this intrigues me even more to what this opening scene could be knowing that it's going to pay homage to Halloween. But this is where I hand it off to you guys. I want to know what you think about there being a Halloween homage in Scream 5, specifically the opening scene, that it's 11 minutes and 20 seconds long. What kind of new twisty turns would you like to see in there? Do you like the look of the title card? Are you still looking forward to this movie? And to get everything, be sure to leave me your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.